Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here once again back at you. So we just want to say by starting off guys, we're so glad to see you and welcome, welcome, welcome. Much love to all of you here for the Triple L family. We're so glad that you're back with us once again. What we've got for you guys today, we've got something that we know you're going to love. We've got chicken. Everybody loves chicken. We've got something good for you dog. We're going to make some Cajun chicken. You ready? Let's get started. All right, guys, so I've got some um, chicken breasts, and they are the thin chicken breasts, guys. They're the thin chicken breasts that I have here. I'm going to use some Cajun seasoning, which I have Cajun seasoning here. Garlic pepper, excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, what am I looking? There I go, the Cajun seasoning, okay? But I'm going to use some garlic uh, pepper. I'm going to use a little bit of chili powder, uh, paprika, garlic powder, I've got two garlic powders out here. A little cumin, okay? Uh, if you want to use some dry mustard, that'll be great. I've got some basil leaves here. Okay, a lot of these things, guys, make up a Cajun seasoning, okay? But I had just a little bit up here that I'm going to sprinkle on there anyway, okay? I'm going to put it down on this uh, wax paper I have here. I want you to see what I have out here. And I'm going to use a little bit of the garlic, um, the minced garlic that I have here. A little bit of minced garlic, okay? I'm going to use a little bit of minced garlic down in my pan too, but not until maybe a little bit on the um, chicken and on the vegetables last so it won't burn. And I have a little bit of the shallots here. I'm going to bring some of those up to it, okay? I got some shallots right here for you too, okay? All right, so as you see, I put some of the cornmeal down. I'm just I'm just putting the seasoning down on this um, wax paper or parchment paper, whichever one you want to use, okay? And all these season does make up the... Um, the um, Cajun seasoning. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this, all the seasoning that we talked about down there. I'm just gonna make sure that our chicken just gets this coating on it. Garlic pepper. And this is just the seasoning that I just showed you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and get all the seasoning down on top of the uh, cornmeal. I'm gonna put about maybe three or four tablespoons of oil in the, um, in the pan. And remember guys, we're just gonna season the chicken up and we're gonna let it sit, uh, cook in the pan here on both sides about maybe about four or five minutes. Or until your desire of been done. <laughs> okay. so let's go ahead and get these in here and we're just gonna season them up some. Like so, so. We got some of them here that was pretty thin. I don't wanna put that one in there yet, okay. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and drop this in. Now guys, I had already washed and dried my chicken and salt and pepper it before I put it um in the mix, the Cajun seasoning mix that I had here. So I had done that already, okay? And this is the um, inspired recipe from Jamie. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy it watching them do it. Hey right, guys, so let's go ahead and get them turned now. Yeah, nice and coated too, guys. Look at that. And remember too, now these are just some thin chicken breasts. If you have the thick ones, just roll it on your paper, roll them all up together, and just you know take your hammer or something and beat it. Or I've used this rolling pin and just um, roll them with the rolling pin and get them a little bit flatter. You know that way you can cook them during a small amount of time. You know, so I have cooking them um, so long. So we're just going to turn them over now and let them cook. Okay guys, so I'm going to remove these now. See, they're pretty good. I'm going to remove these, but I had the top on guys because they were a little larger uh, than what I expected them to be. And of course, you know, with the top off, it cooks fast. So I put the top on so that they can just simmer and cook, you know, and, and get well done at, at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. I'm going to put the other two in. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Just let them cook too. And uh, and then we'll be ready. Hey guys. So now I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. Probably about maybe one or two tablespoons more olive oil in here. My pan is still on. Let me add a little bit more. Oh, this is the chicken here that we removed. Got a nice little crust seasoning to it. It's not burned, baby. It's Cajun seasoning. <laughs> okay, so I've got a little of um, frozen green beans. Okay, I'm just going to add them to my pot here. 
I'll turn this down just a tad bit. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. I've got a little bit of my, uh, of some uh, roux, or as we call it, a little uh, bacon grease. If you have bacon, guys, go ahead and add it to it. I'm just going to add a little bit for a little bit more flavor. And these are frozen green beans. If you have some frozen, uh, I think they use some like some okra maybe. That'd be great. Some things to use with okra. Um, you can use some of that. But we use the uh, frozen green beans here um, instead of the can most of the time. Unless we really, really wash them off. Less sodium in them. Even the ones that stay unsalted, guys. The frozen ones still, uh, I found to be the best. Uh, like I said, um, add your roux or bacon grease. So I'm just going to let this marinate a little bit. Once it starts to get a little done, I'm going to add some of my garlic um, and some of my uh, shallots now. I'm going to go ahead and put those in there now. Yeah, okay. And once it starts to cook out a little bit, I'm going to add some of my garlic and I'm going to sit my chicken back on top for a little bit more flavor, okay? Alright, so now we're going to add, I'm going to add a little garlic pepper. Get a little bit more flavor. I'm going to put some minced garlic in. If you want to use your whole garlic, guys, please go ahead. Minced garlic has a little bit more oil in it. Okay. I'm just going to lay some right back on top of you. Just right back on top, guys. Okay. And that should give it that little flavor. For the green beans as well, guys. All right, guys, and there you have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember, it's the Cajun chicken. All right, again, we have another what one pot wonder. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. So it's our second time around with it, guys. We did it with the green beans here. And we put the chicken back on top to give the green beans a little bit more of that seasoning that we know we all like. That chicken flavor, too. All right, guys, until the next time, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down there. Leave us a comment and a like, and we'll be right back at you, guys. Until next time, remember, it's the love we share for the life God gives us for everyday living.